Hey guys, my name is Simpsy. How are you all doing? Welcome back to some more Total War Warhammer. We're playing as the Empire. This is episode 11. Now guys, in today's episode, we're going to be pushing and finishing Marienburg off, who actually fled north into Nordland, and we're actually in a pretty big war against them. So, we're going to be playing the battle in today's episode. We have Emperor Karl Franz here on Deathclaw. We're going to have our first battle with Deathclaw. Two units of mortars, one Reichsguard, four units of crossbowmen, one handgunner, one halberdiers, and our nine units of swordsmen. And we have our bright wizard, Rickard Helborg, the treasurer, uh, with a reinforcing army of what? Four, eight... Eight swordsmen and three units. In the last episode, we managed to take two settlements from Marienburg. Marienburg itself and Gossel. It's currently turn 50, and Chaos is going to be soon on his way, and Archeon will show up, uh, show up soon. So, we need our walls, and they're slowly but surely coming along. We have our first wall here at Helmgart. Obviously, I wanted to protect this pass, um, just in case any Bretonian kingdom pushes over and across. Okay. So, basically... Putting money into my, my economy, making sure my popular surplus comes up so we can upgrade my settlements. Having enough money to also as well build the city watches so we can upgrade to walls. We have a spare slot here which we're saving for the Altdorf Conclave of Battle Wizards because we need to get Balthazar Geld. It's turn 50 and we still haven't got him yet, which is not too much of a bad thing. I wasn't particularly rushing for him. I was quite happy leveling up with... Carl Franz, and it's not like um, we have really a spare army for Balthazar Gelt to even command. So let's have a look at the world map now, shall we? We're currently sitting in fifth with our strength ranking. Skeeling is actually first, really. Not Chaos. Are they corrupted by Chaos? Huh. Maybe. Wow, that surprises me with nine settlements. Maybe. We're going to be bordering with them soon once we take out. Um, Nordland and Marienburg. I wonder if Chaos will have a hard time again against them. The Vampire Counts are third, the Greenskins are fourth, Kislev, Border Princes, six and seven. But just looking at the world map near us, still got a couple of Empire factions to the north. Sterling is our ally to the south. What's this? Oh, the Border Princes. Oh, they're pushed up quite far. Maybe we have to go to war with them soon. We will have to betray Stirland at some point and push upon the Bretonian kingdoms and the dwarfs. But enough of recapping the campaign. Let's get into a battle saying we didn't have one in the last. Enough jibber jabber simsy. So, I do know for a fact that there's going to be a an ambush army here. So what I'm going to do, because I do know there was a full stack and now it's just disappeared. So, unless they, well, unless they've doubled back this way, I, I doubt I would have seen it. But let's move my bright wizard out. And sort of scout about. Okay, so that actually didn't help whatsoever. What I want to do is, is I want to get um, Carl Franz to go straight for the settlement. Opportunity to intercept. You were defending against Marienburg. Let's decline that attack. Ambush discovered. Alright. Let's now move Rickard Helborg up. This is going to be a hell of a fight. One of the biggest ones we've had. We've had a couple of really nice battles with the Empire. Let's put my Bright Wizard back in. Come on, you bastard. We need you for the battle. Damn it, we might not have my Bright Wizard. Which I probably do need. Um, can I... Maybe it's because... Can Carl Franz do it? Probably takes one turn to go in and out. Ah, oh, bugger ya. So we have the option to either not use my Bright Wizard, because I've accidentally moved him out to Scout. I can hold off, maybe. Mind you, sitting here, they could actually attack us. Yeah, let's sit here and wait and see what happens. They might actually attack us, which might give us the favor. I will need my Bright Wizard off, so I have given the opportunity for the enemy agents to strike, and they've split up their forces. What? Non-aggressional pact? Uh, no. No. Bretonia. This faction has declared war on me. Bretonia is at war with me. Interesting. We'll quickly wrap up Marienburg and Nordland and push down against Bretonia. 
we go to war with the Reichland and its puppets. Well, they're actually at war with Bastogne. So let's call our allies. We are now at war with Bretonia. Wow. That's a big sort of development. We can go with leadership and plunder. Let's go with leadership, non-aggression pact broken. Trade agreement broken. Let's now look at Bretonia's enemies. They're at, law, at war with Bastogne. Let's negotiate with you guys. Non-aggressional pact for a little bit of cash. Will be perfect. The enemy of my enemy is my friend. Rejector, we might have to go 300. Let's just go with a straight non-aggression pact and they rejected anyway. Artos. I don't think they even have any regions, do they? They have one. I'm not going to give you any money. Okay. Well, we need to wrap up Marienburg. How's our army looking now? It's fine. Let's move my wizard in. I am befuddled as to why they've moved their 10 units out there. We're going to be able to take them now much, much easier. Wow, that is so, so foolish. I could let Rickard Hellborg give chase. It's not like they even could take Middenheim. It is a walled city. So what we're going to do is, is we're going to... Now that they've split their army up, do I even need Rickard Helborg here? What's this fight going to be with Karl Franz? Two units of swordsmen, two units of shields, two crossbowmen. Oh, that's actually a rather strong force. I'm not lying. Even though we don't, it doesn't say we have the odds, but that's actually not too bad of an army, I think. We're fighting in the field because it isn't a walled battle. Ready. I think these additional units could help. Oh, or is this factoring... Wait, what? What have I gone and done here? They did not just run away. What is going on? That was so weird from the... Did you guys see that? Pardon? Mind you, please take into consideration that this save was originally started in my early access copy given to me from the Creative Assembly. I started this campaign five days from release, so the save might be a little bit buggy here and there. So, I did have early access when I started this, and the game wasn't fully released. So, that was odd, more than anything. I don't think it was a bug, it just seemed awfully odd. Right. Let's, we've got another banner here. Let's chuck you with that. Uh, I, I just don't understand. Because we gave them the opportunity. Maybe they knew they were going to lose. So they just like, we'll just like, fuck it. Let's just get out of here. I don't want anything to do with it. Now it's sort of just annoying. Because we're just chasing Marienburg around the fucking place. And we've taken their settlement now. Wow, that befuddles me. Is the word. I'm going to get Rickard Helborg to run them down. We'll push here into Nordland. Yes, my lord. It would be ideal if we could ambush, but we haven't got any points. Alright, let's now get Carl Franz to push against this other army, which is losing attrition. Right, now, because we don't have any armies down at Altdorf, my... what? Who? What's this? My witch hunter's back. Do I raise an army with Theo? It might be a smart idea. Having a, just a small army down in the south. So, let's get some swordsmen. Four units of swordsmen, four units of crossbowmen. We are just using our local pool. Four, four. So, when and if Bretonia attack, we can deal with them quite swiftly. Right. So, we have a wall here at Ilhart. Oh, perfect. We can hold them off. Okay. Okay. One more turn before we have a wall at Grunberg as well. And we're slowly but surely trying to get walls everywhere else. Oh, that was a little bit disappointing. I thought we were going to have a huge, massive fight against Marienburg. And they split up. Who? What the? Oh, no. That's not good. Oh, and no. What have I done? We should be able to retreat, though. I literally just enabled Rickard Hellboard to be surrounded. And most likely killed. 
Bugger, I thought they would have fled and run. I should have stuck them together. Well, this is going to be a hell of a fight. <laughs> it's going to be a close one. We're coming up against, wow, one unit of Empire Knights, three Pistoliers, two Crossbowmen, four Heart General here, four Star Gen uh, yeah, four Rank General. A lot of Pistoliers, another Mortar. My God, let's fight this one on the field. Oh, I have a bad feeling about this. We could lose Rickard Helborg in the fight of Marienburg. That was quite foolish of me to send him out and run. Damn, I, I should I, That was stupid. That was stupid. Hey, you win some, you lose some. This is Total War Warhammer. You have to accept that. So, there's an army deploying from the right-hand side and then next to us. Where do I want to hold my defense? Well, there's a bit of high ground here. And they're sort of coming from this way. Now, the thing is, fighting in the forest, when you fight in a forest, it reduces combat. So they outnumber me. If we can get a sort of a combat advantage, that would be fine. And being in the trees reduces our visibility. There's no point of trying to rush someone, I don't think. Or maybe we should. There's reinforcements here. Maybe we should hit them. Hit them hard. The second army is the bigger one. If we could try and overwhelm, because if we sit back and let the mortars, yeah, or maybe we should, maybe, maybe, yeah, maybe we should just, you know what, just charge, hit them, hit them hard, try and kill one of their generals, hopefully. We'll see how we go, but here is Rickard Helborg, maybe, and quite possibly... The last time we will see him. He is a brave old bastard. Rickard Helborg. I do have a camera mod that I'm using. The only mod for this campaign. It just gives advanced camera angles. I want to see the inscriptions on his shield. Sigma. Yeah. You press N on your keyboard and it gives you additional zoom. Which is absolutely awesome. You can get some really cool cinematic shots. Check out these guys. All got blue eyes, mostly. Interesting. Right. Regardless, let's get into the fight. Um, I think we should try and overpower them. So let's start. Charge down and into it. They can't actually see me. Try and overwhelm them. Hit them. Hit them hard. Be relentless. Now I'm sort of arming and arming whether or not to keep a couple of units back just to hold the rear. Maybe one. Throw you back. Get my crossbowmen to fire into the spears. Go, brave men of the Empire! Charge! Fight, men. Fight for our right to live! For Carl Franz and Rickard Elborg. Na, 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 na. My god, can you guys just see the... the battle raging here? Right, let's get my crossroom into... Try and reduce as much friendly fire as possible. Alright, go for here. Get Rickard Helborg to go for their general. We actually did have a really rather nice high ground charge. But. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I think we're just simply outnumbered. That's what's going to be the, the deciding factor. But their mortars are firing at me now. Right, I did have another army in the rear, another unit here in the rear, just to defend my archers. But it, uh, it doesn't look good, if I'm being honest. They are losing a lot of troops, though. Come on, Rickard Helborg. We could kill their general. Maybe we could have a... 
A chance. Looks like they're moving him. Right, archers, focus all your firepower on the enemy general. Right, looks like they've moved up their pistoliers now. We'll let Rickard Hellborg go for the swordsman. Alright, come on, push them. Yes, we've broken a unit of spears. Swing around and go. Okay, so the reinforcements are coming in now. My god, we're about to get an em Fire at the Empire Knights flanking here. Bring them down, bring them down. Pop you this way, get you to... Get you to hit down in there. And if that doesn't cause a rout, I don't know what... Oh, they pulled it off. Come on, kill him. We've pretty much... Oh, these charges are going to roast us. Heavy cavalry from behind. Not overly too much you can do about it. Because we're just simply overwhelmed. We're going to give them a, a bit of a battering, though. We won't go down willingly. Where is Rickard Helborg? Where's their general now? My crossbowmen are buckling. No! Go! Swordsman, get them! So far we've lost 500. They've actually lost quite a lot as well. If I'm being honest. But at this point, I think it's going to cause a... It's going to be a full-on rout in a second. Looks like the scent has been dissolved. Oh, poor Ricard Helborg. But Carl Franz will avenge him. There is no doubt about it. Where is he? I want to see his last final moments. moments. Here he is. Surrounded. And he's fleeing. A close defeat, really? Oh wow, they actually took a fair amount of casualties even from that fight. Damn. I think it was the right idea to try and rush them while we had the high ground. We got some really nice stuff there. A close defeat. Marion de Marienburg deployed 2,386 and lost 896 on the field. Wow. That is a lot. We deployed 1,231. They outnumbered me, but they lost more men than me. We lost 836, but I... if. If he can't flee, Rickard Hellborg has been killed. Luckily, Theo down in the south is recruiting a uh, an army. Oh, that's sad. A general we've had for eleven parts. I'm pretty sure he's dead. I don't. He's not a legendary lord. Why would he not die? Oh, we lost a famous general. Good old. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Um, under Dark Moon. Minus Treasury, we get Leadership. Yeah, let's get that. Non-Aggression Pack broken with the Vampire Counts. Yeah, the army was buggered. Damn. 
Killed in back a battle. Treasurer Rickard Helborg. Ah, oh, it's a shame. Oh well, shit happens. Alright, let's move this army into. Sorry, let's move the witch hunter into Bastonian lands. Now that Theo is here, we'll kick. Um, we'll move him out of office. We'll make him the treasure. Theo the treasurer. We'll wait until he gets his army back up. Right, we need to quell, squash, squash this rebellion. We need to get some payback for what Marienburg did to Rickard. Oh, that's a shame. Right, clear cut, order resolve. You gotta give it to good old, um... Hellborg, he did give Marienburg a bit of a battering at the end of it, in the death. Raise your weapons. We still That's yet have had to have a battle with Karl Franz. We haven't seen Deathclaw, Deathclaw yet. Let's push into Marienburg lands. Right, what can we build here? There's an Imperial Wharf, okay. Right, treasury wise, we've just gotten Cavalry charge bonuses and speed. Empire. I, I don't think I'm going to be using Reichsguard though. That's the thing. Pist I'm probably yeah. I'll do it anyway. Right, but this is a huge development. The border princes have expanded significantly. Have nine regions pushed into to Weissland. My God. Well, at least the vampire council have to fight through them and stir them before they get to me. If they do. Right, Grunberg has a wall. Reichland is officially walled up. Now we have our spare slot here. We need to wait until this is a plus four to get the conclave. Right. Middenland is the next place getting walls. So we need to upgrade you to a wall. And Weissman to a wall when we can. So we need the money now. Right, can Gossel get a wall? No, we need to save up a little bit more money. Should we upgrade like the brass keep and stuff? Why not? All right, let's continue. Carl Franz has another skill point. Let's go into probably armor and my bright risen. So we've got flaming sword. Or burning, which so gives uh, versus strong versus multiple appointments, diet, fire damage, largely weakens enemy combatants. So let's go with the burning head. That thing's awesome. I have seen it from time to time. Let's end the turn and continue. Let's finish off Marienburg. Their agents are trying to intercept me. Nordland won a trade agreement. I'm going to reject. We're still at war with Bretro Bretonia, but seeming's because there hasn't been any bloodshed. I might try sue for peace for with them for the time being. They don't want it. Alright, Carl Franz, I still want you to run down Marienburg as best you can. Alright. We still need to wait to a four here. Right, how is Theo doing? Basically replacing Ricard Hellborgs. I'm trying to think, should I put some mortars in here? Probably not needed. Probably just go with five swordsmen and five crossbowmen for the time being. Right, everywhere else. Uh, right. Let's move the witch hunter uh, up. The witch hunter to Bretonia's capital. We can upgrade this. We can upgrade Grosel. I am tempted, but we have to upgrade Weissman first. How about everywhere else? Kemper bad soon. How much was Grosel? Uh, Grosel. No. Let's end the turn and continue. 
Penny pinch, eh? It's going to be a bit of a pain in the ass trying to mop up Marienburg. What do these guys want? Peace treaty. Uh, no. I forgot actually I was actually at war with you. It was... Sterland drew, uh, drew me into a fight with them. Peace with Bordelex and Karak Ziflin, the Winds of Magic, Migration. Do nothing, we can get minus recruitment, minus public order and growth. Let's get more growth. How far is Karl Franz from destroying this army? Pretty close. Yeah, let's get rid of you. Kill the captives. Alright, Marienburg is going to be on its last leg soon. Where's my bright wizard again? Did he get... I don't think he got killed. He might have got injured. I didn't even I didn't even take notice of it. But I don't like that the border princes are at Nuland. That's going to be a big war to deal with if we have to get a war with them. Bit of a pain, but oh well. Right, let's quickly just gloss around the empire. We can upgrade Gossel. That's already being upgraded. What about the Brass Keep? Tala Beckland. We can upgrade this now. We have a spare slot. Let's get some more growth. Right. We still have 4,700 in the bank. We're not quite at the popular surplus with Altdorf. Let's upgrade Gossel. Gossel. Or Gossel. However you like to say it. I would like to defeat Marienburg in today's part. I want to run these bastards down. Even though it's being a little bit tedious. Their agents are trying to slow me down. Ostermark still want peace. Karak Norn still pushing through my lands. Their agent was successful. We're in striking range. Let's finish off Marienburg. Oh, we haven't quite... Oh, you bastards! So, so close. How's my territory up here? Minus six. I need to take the other settlement in Nordland there. Right, the walls have come along nicely. How's everyone else sort of doing? Walls wise. Gossel is upgrading. Right, the brass cave. Now let's build the guardhouse to get the prerequisite for walls. Tell a Beckland. Getting it, but on that note, guys, um, we're not going to be able to run them down in this part. We'll try run them down in the next. But thank you very much for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. Check out my social media links: Facebook, Twitter, no, uh, uh, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. No, actually, I've changed my mind. Let's run them down. Carl Franz has got up in stats. I want to defeat them. <laughs> I was about to end it, but I've actually changed my mind. I was like, no, fuck them. We need. We've been fighting them this whole episode. We can't leave it on that. We can go with charge, or we can go with melee attack. Uh, what's up here? Melee attack, more leadership and defense. Melee defense. Let's go with melee defense. They're still trying to get their agents to hinder me. It has been working a little bit, but... Oh my god. Oh. Why would you bother, like, suiciding in? Nordland want me to give have trade. I'm gonna take Nordland. Bretonia still haven't moved any.
units in to fight me. I need to redo my banners eventually. He might have actually killed my bright wizard. I can't remember. Or is he injured for a bit? I can't remember. I didn't read the notification. Right, so Marienburg has officially been destroyed. We have 1,100 in the bank. We can upgrade Altdorf to a tier 4 city. And I might save that 6,200 so I can get the... Well, I want to get the... The Altdorf Conclave of Battle Wizard so we can get Balthazar Gelt. However, it's going to take five turns, and it's going to take probably a, another additional five turns to get that, so we might be better suited to upgrade some of these other buildings while we can. Alright, so in Carriburg, we're going to start building a wall. Let's upgrade the Brass Keep. Tala Beckland. So we have walls all in Reichland. Gorsell. Two more turns until we get that. What about up in the north here? We might actually let that, that province might rebel on us. But no matter, I don't particularly care. Right, we need to make the decision. Do we push against Bretonia? They actually want peace. I'm not going to give it to them. I want their lands, These you fucks. We could push up north real quick and get rid of Nordland and take the entirety of the province here. And then we'll push upon Bretonia, because they don't seem to be too much of a threat for us. Yeah, let's double time, quickly get rid of Nordland. Move to Middenheim. We'll wait for our army to replenish, I don't care about the attrition. Right, Theo here. I'm sort of wondering, we've got a, we've got a decent, like... We have a decent army here. We might actually better make... Yes, a sound plan. Th like, this army here could actually maybe fend off Bretonia or maybe start conquering some lands. We'll get two units of mortars and we'll see how we go from there. But guys, put in the comments, Rip Rickard Helborg, <laughs> the mighty treasurer. But uh, thank you very much for watching once again. My name has been Simpsy. I'm going to officially end it here, definitely. And I'll see you guys in the next episode, which is episode 12 of the Empire Campaign. So, goodbye.